what is your definition of nationalism? <laughs> because it has been very easy for people to be uh, labeled as anti-national <laughs> with views which are different. A nation is made. First of all, a nation comes in, comes into place because there is a geographical boundary or there is a territorial integrity or sovereignty to the country. That's one piece. Another piece is the structures and systems of the nation, which is the constitution, the judiciary, the law and the... what we have, the structures and systems to run the nation. Another is the people, how they feel and emote and what it... what means to them. If you don't take these three considerations and you have some abstract idea of a nation, it's not going to work. It will just not work. You can philosophize as much as you want, it's not going to work. And especially when people question the territorial integrity of the nation or the sovereignty of the nation, then we can as well throw the book. I'm not talking about the Bible or Gita or Quran, I'm talking about the constitution. Because once you question the territorial integrity of what a country is made of, then you're questioning everything. Why can't we question? You can question because your stomach is full, but still five hundred million people have not eaten properly. You don't have the capability to provide for them, but you have silly debates going all the time. I think it's time we focus on the people, because nation was made for the well-being of the people, not to do silly debates forever. This is not academics. This is practical life. Nation, we made a nation because we are not able to manage one world as a whole. The best thing would be one humanity, but it's practically not possible right now. So the largest piece of humanity that you can handle right now is a nation. If you keep on questioning it for whatever reasons you have, I don't think it'll work. And these kind of debates are held in uh, well-to-do countries where everybody is well-fed, they just debate in a civilized way and they don't take action about it, they just debate and write books about it. Now, you want to take action on the street against what is the framework of a nation, how can you let that happen? Because you have no concern for millions of people who have not eaten properly yet. <laughs>